screen, the user can click on one of the items, and then the recipes that use that item as an ingredient are displayed. You can either send the ingredient list of the recipe to your email, you can add it to your shopping list, um, you can use um, uh, allergy, um, you can exclude the, if you're allergic to some item, you can exclude that item from the recipe. So basically how we did this was uh, we, we are gonna uh, put up, install a strip of infrared uh, transmitters on top of the aisle and uh, that will transmit a certain binary code or pulse width to the Raspberry Pi which has a receiver installed on it. It will read the uh, pulse width and the pulse width will, be correspond, will correspond with a certain aisle. So um, it will read the aisle number, the aisle number will be sent to the database, the database will pull up the items that are corresponding to the aisle, and it will send it to the screen. Then the screen, in the screen when the user sees it, it will again, like, they can click on one of the items, they will pull up the recipe from the database, and that's how it uh, works. Um, we, the frequency we are using our infrared is at 36.7. And we used a pink microcontroller to program the IR transfer to send out the pulses at that frequency. Um, and we're using an external battery pack to power the Raspberry Pi. Um, and for our future goal, if we were to implement this project, then we would also uh, be looking into implementing a GPS, local GPS system, so you can kind of map. That you can put in your shopping list into this system, and that will uh, show you the shortest route to get to each item that you want. So um, I will open the floor for any questions. Now. Check the battery uh, Well, currently the battery pack we're using uh, lasts for about four to five hours. Uh, if run continuously. Thank you. 